are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the Marxist NBA of China here in this video. This video may seem kind of redundant because these NBA players today, they are so, so weak. They can't handle fans heckling them. We've seen LeBron James get uh, two or three uh, people removed out of games, thrown out of games because they were heckling him. Draymond Green as well. Draymond Green actually said the fan actually said some threatening stuff about his life. Yeah, right. Whatever. You're on the opposing team and fans are going to heckle you. It's been happening forever since the invention of sports. Sports fans are going to be loyal to their teams and their job is to make you uncomfortable. But yet here we are again. Another NBA player, soft, can't handle a heckling fan. You guys can see here, NBA star restrained by official teammate in confrontation with heckling fan. Now, on this clip we're going to watch, it seems like the uh, the fans are actually um, pretty young. Almost seems like they're actually like teenagers or something. I don't know for sure. But you could actually hear in this case what the fan is actually saying. And to me, it's a nothing burger right here. But yet Jamal Murray got triggered. About to go to the fan and had had to be held back by an official. Yeah, fans are getting to these soft as toilet paper NBA players. This is not your father's NBA. This isn't your grandfather's NBA. This is the soft Marxist NBA of China. Look here. Denver Nuggets star Jamal Murray had to be restrained by his teammate Nikola Jokic. After fans of Detroit began to heckle him during play on Thursday night, the video begins with several fans mocking Murray from their courtside seats, which are very, very expensive, by the way, at Little Caesars Arena. And once play was halted, he approached the section of Loudmouths. NBA official Andy Nagy quickly stopped Murray from getting close to the one man he picked out in the crowd. And uh, we got the clip here. Jokic runs over. L let's just watch this. This is so ridiculous, man. These NBA players are just soft. Let's roll it. Come on, you're a peon. You're a peon. I still see you. Come on, you're a peon. How about that answer? Hey, you ain't gonna do shit, boy. You ain't gonna do shit, boy. You're going. Hey, Jokic! And he still wants to go at him. Yeah, that was it, man. That was it. Now, I'm not sure if these fans got thrown out. They should have not been thrown out if they were. I don't think that they were actually thrown out. I mean, this was nothing. Why would you why would you get triggered by that? Nothing was said about his family. I mean, nothing. This was nothing. This is a typical NBA fan heckling an opposing player. And he just got triggered. It says here, as of uh, writing this post, it is unclear whether or not the obnoxious fans were booted from Detroit Arena for crossing the line in there. Expensive seats. They didn't cross the line to me. They didn't. The Nuggets went on to beat the Pistons 119-100. Denver leads the Western Conference, whereas the Pistons are dead last in the Eastern Conference with a total of 15 wins. And what I would think they would call a rebuilding year. Over the last few months, fan athlete relations relationships have taken cringy and awkward turns across the sports world. A man invaded uh, stormed the pitch during a soccer match and sucker punched a goalie before the netminder chose to hit the crazed fan back. I have not seen that. I have not seen that. So this is just crazy right here. Jamal Murray, man up. I mean, that was it. 
this is a case where you can actually hear what the fan was saying. And this was nothing. This was absolutely nothing. This is the NBA and their players being super duper soft. I don't believe for a second Jamal Murray was actually going to go into the stands and do anything. I mean, he got held back by the official. I'm pretty sure he could have just thrown that official to the side, you know, and got into the stands and handled his business. But hey, if he actually did that, he may actually end up missing the rest of the season there. This is weak, man. These weak NBA players, LeBron James, Draymond Green, and now Jamal Murray. And I'm pretty sure I missed some other names, too, man, because these players, they just want to go after the fans now. I want to try to get them thrown out the game. But in this case, I think Jamal Murray, I don't know if he's actually trying to get this these people removed. I don't think they were removed. They said nothing wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. This is typical fan behavior at NBA games. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.